Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In today's video, we are going to discuss about binary multiplication or the multiplication of numbers in the binary form or the base 2 form. So, let us first discuss the multiplication rules okay, that we are going to follow while multiplying two bits in binary numbers. Okay, we know that only two bits, two symbols are allowed in the binary number system that is 0 and 1. So, there are some rules associated with binary multiplication, bit multiplication in binary form which is very similar, almost similar to the decimal number system or normal multiplication. Okay, so let us just discuss that. So, 0 into 0, it is equal to 0, okay, which is same as normal multiplication. 0 into 1, it is also equal to 0. 1 into 0, it is equal to 0, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So, almost all the rules, all the rules are same as that with normal multiplication. Okay? So, this binary multiplication is simple and straightforward, the rules are simple and straightforward and they are almost the same, they are the same as that with normal multiplication rules. Okay? So, it is easy to remember as compared to the binary addition and binary subtraction, where the unique rule, the important rule in binary addition was that 1 plus 1 resulting 0 with a carry of 1 and in binary subtraction 0 minus 1 which is 1 with a borrow of 1. So, that is the two unique properties, but here the binary multiplication almost all the rules are the same as that with normal multiplication. So, no exception. Okay? So, all the rules are the same as that with normal multiplication. Okay? So, now let us uh, take some examples on binary multiplication and see how these rules are applied. Okay? So, let us take some examples. Let us perform a simple multiplication first, okay? I mean small value numbers. 3 into 2, this is in decimal form and the result is 6. Here it is the same operation that we are going to perform in the base 2 form, the binary form, okay? 1, 1 which is for 3 and 1, 0 which is 2. So, let us multiply them. 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 1, 0. Okay. Next, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1. Need to add them. So, it is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1 and this 1 it comes straight down. So, it is 1, 1, 0. This is the binary representation and in decimal form, it is, okay, if we apply the sum of weights method, it will be 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power 0 and it is 6, 4 plus 2, 6. So, our result, our answer is correct. It is the same as that which we did in the decimal representation, okay. So, let us take uh, two 3 bit numbers and we are going to multiply them. Let us see how we are going to do that. So, here we have taken two 3 bit numbers in binary form. So, the decimal equivalent is 7 into 5 which is result is 35. So, now we are, we are going to perform this, this multiplication in binary form. So, 1 1 1 it is 7 and 1 0 1 it is 5. Okay, so, let us do that. So, 1 into 1 
is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1. 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1. Now, we are going to add them, okay. we are going to add them. This one, it comes straight down, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1, remember binary addition. Okay. So, an important thing, before you watch this video, please do watch the video related to binary addition which I have posted in the channel, so that you understand this addition operations in a better way. So, please check out the binary addition video. If you are clear about binary addition, then uh, and you are yeah, and you are understanding this, then no problem. But if you are having any confusion related to this addition operations, please check out that video so that you understand these operations in a better way. Okay, so here it is one plus one, which is zero, with a carry of one generated to the next significant bit. Again, one plus one is zero with a carry of one generated to the next significant bit. Again. 1 plus 1 is 0 and a carry which is generated to the next significant bit which comes straight down becomes this. So, the result is 1 0 0 0 1 1. So, it is actually 2 to the power 0 1 2 3 4 5 that is 1 into 2 to the power 5 okay, sum of weights we are going to convert it into decimal form plus they are all zeros, then 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0. I am using the sum of weights method. So, it is 32 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 35 in decimal form. So, we got the same result. Here also it is 35. The, the bit this result 1 triple 0 1 1 it is 35 in decimal form and here also 7 into 5 is 35 okay so this is uh, here we have taken the three bit numbers now let us take numbers involving fractional parts okay let us see how we are going to do that let us perform the multiplication of two binary numbers involving fractional parts, okay, which is marked by this binary point here. So, let us see how this multiplication is performed. It is almost similar to the normal multiplication process. So, here 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, okay. Next, 0 into 1 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0. Next, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1. Let us first perform the addition. Almost same as decimal uh, or normal multiplication. So, 1 straight comes down, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a borrow of 1, okay. 1 plus 1 again is 0 with a borrow of 1, again 1 plus 1 is 0 with a borrow of 1 which comes straight down it is 1 0. Now, similar to the general rule of multiplication you see after 1 bit there is a binary point, here also after 1 bit there is a binary point. So, here similar to the general rule of multiplication we will put the binary point after a total of 2 bits here. So, the result will be 1 triple 0 point 1 1. This is the binary point. So, here it is the multiplication of 2 binary numbers with fractional parts or binary points. Okay, It is similar to the normal multiplication process, okay, everything. So, 
as opposed to the binary addition and subtraction where there were two one one exception means one plus one with zero with a carry of one and in subtraction zero minus one is one with a borrow of one in binary multiplication there is no such complication it is almost simple and straightforward as normal multiplication so there is no difficulty in handling binary multiplication operations okay so here we have discussed some problems on binary multiplication so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much